Throughout this video, historical newspaper clippings, sketches, and photographs illustrate the narration. White text on a black background reads, The Election of 1860, The Nation. The year is 1860 and the United States is in danger of being torn apart. Last year, John Brown's raid in Harper's Ferry caused tensions over slavery to explode. Four million people in the United States are enslaved with no hope of freedom in sight. Americans are moving west and expansion means more opportunities. It also means, however, tension about whether the new states will allow slavery or not. Slavery is not the only issue on the minds of Americans. There are debates between those who support agriculture and those who want to see the expansion of industry. And no one can agree whether the states or the federal government should have more power. The presidential election of 1860 would determine the future of the nation. Four men, all from different backgrounds and of different opinions, are competing for the presidency of the United States. White text on a black background reads, The Election of 1860, The Issues. A sketch of John Bell with the caption, John Bell, Constitutional Union Party. A kid reenacts the scene. Resolved. That is both a part of patriotism and of duty to recognize no political principle other than the constitution of the country, the union of the states, and the enforcement of the laws. Over an image of the constitution, red text appears. John Bell believes in the constitution and only the constitution. A sketch of John Breckinridge with the caption, John Breckinridge, Democratic Party, Southern. Numerous foes we will oppose as in the days of... A kid reenacts the scene. That the decision of states to defeat the faithful execution of fugitive slave laws are hostile in character and against the Constitution. Over a sketch of slaves in a field, green text appears. He supports the fugitive slave law. Seriously, we'll foster principles and live and march straight on to victory. A sketch of Stephen Douglas with the caption, Stephen Douglas, Democratic Party, Northern. A kid reenacts the scene. In as much as differences of opinion exist in the Democratic Party, as to the powers of a territorial legislator, and as to the powers and duties of Congress over the institution of slavery within the territory. Resolved that the Democratic Party will abide by the decisions of the Supreme Court of the United States on the question of constitutional law. Over an old image of the White House, black text appears. Douglas's party will follow the decision of the federal government. A sketch of Abraham Lincoln with the caption, Abraham Lincoln, Republican Party. reenacts the scene. Resolve that we, the delegated representatives of the Republican electors, unite in the following declarations. The federal constitution, the right of the states, and the union of the states must and shall be preserved. We denounce those threats of disunion. Over an old image of the White House, red text appears. Lincoln supports the federal government and the rights of state governments. He wants to keep the country together. The sons of Abraham cannot fail. We deny the authority of Congress, of a territorial legislature, or of any individual to give legal existence to slavery in any territory of the United States. Over a sketch of slaves in a field, pink text appears. He does not want slavery to expand into the territories. John Bell, John Breckinridge, Stephen Douglas, and Abraham Lincoln. They stand for the issues that are tearing America apart. On November 6, 1860, the white men in America will cast their votes. Rich or poor, native-born or immigrants, northerners or southerners, will choose the 16th president of the United States of America. Scrolling white text on a black background reads, Director Adele Fishman, screenwriter Shannon Sokol, storyboard artist Tori Baldridge, videographers Kimberly Garcia, Dylan Roberts, film editor Zach Fisher, Ashley Pugh, David Dufort, sound slash music editor Kendra Wenner, piano and voice Grace Guiney, actors Ryan Ballinger, Mac Davis, Zach Fisher, Shannon Sokol, Grace Guiney, Molly Hoffman, Adele Wishman, Ashley Pugh, David Dufort, costuming team Kelsey Figgins, Ashley Pugh, Kendra Wenner.